in lateral cervical spine imaging of a dry skeleton. You can see that the central ray is centered to C7. This has advantages in terms of um, clearing C7 from the humeral heads. The disadvantage of this technique is that there is a radiation of the thorax which is not necessary for demonstration of C7. An alternative technique is to angle the tube in a cephalic direction and collimate in. The important point to note that in angling the tube, the focal spot does not move. If the focal spot doesn't move, there will remain a beam coming through at right angles to the wall bucky at C7. That will not change. And that was the important thing that we were trying to achieve. The oblique rays that are coming up um, in the upper cervical spine are exactly the same. The only difference is the collimation. The difficulty in this concept is that as radiographers, we are used to thinking about the uh, right angle beam for, um, for table bucky radiography, it's um, a vertical beam. For, horizontal, for wall bucky radiography, it's a horizontal beam. We are used to thinking about the horizontal beam being in the centre of the field, and that is not the case when I angle the tube, which I'm going to do now. Now, what I, all I've done now is angle the tube. The tube rotates around the focal spot. The beam that we originally had set up, the X-ray, coming out of the tube, it's coming through horizontally at C7, has not changed. It cannot change because I haven't moved the focal spot. I now have a collimated area which is collimated to the cervical spine, and I'm not irradiating <coughs> thorax that I would otherwise have irradiated. 